India has had above normal monsoon for the last 4 years. But the situation may not be the same in 2023. And we might have to shell out more for food and electricity this summer. Why is that? Well, the World Meteorological Organization has warned of El Nino in the coming months. But what is this El Nino effect that everyone's talking about? And how will it impact the monsoon in India and our pockets this summer? We will take a look at all those questions in this video. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Money Controls YouTube channel. What is El Nino? El Nino is a weather pattern that takes place in the Pacific Ocean. Normally, the trade winds blow from east to west across the Pacific, causing warm surface water to pile up in the western Pacific near Asia and cool water to rise up from the depths of the ocean in the eastern Pacific near South America. This creates a gradient in sea surface temperatures, with warmer waters in the west and cooler waters in the east. During an El Nino, the trade winds weaken or even reverse direction, causing the warm water to slosh backward towards the east. This can cause sea surface temperatures to become warmer than usual in the central and eastern Pacific, which can in turn affect weather patterns around the world. As a result, in the United States, an El Nino brings wetter than normal conditions to the southern part of the country, while the northern part may experience drier than normal conditions. Other parts of the world experience different effects such as droughts, floods and even changes in marine ecosystems. How will it impact Indian economy? So how does this weather pattern all the way across the world impact the Indian economy? El Nino can particularly impact the agriculture and energy sectors. During an El Nino, India can experience drier than normal conditions which can reduce agriculture output and lead to crop failures. This can lead to lower agriculture exports, higher food prices and increased food insecurity. In addition, the reduced rainfall can lead to lower hydroelectric power generation which can lead to power shortages and higher energy prices. The El Nino last affected India's monsoon in 2009. During that year, rainfall was 23% less than normal, leading to a drought. Food prices of essential commodities like rice and sugarcane were pushed higher as their production got hit. The global price of sugar hit a record high. In 2002, which was also an El Nino year, average rainfall dropped 20% below normal and food gain production dropped almost 18%. Usually, lower farm output feeds directly into inflation as cereals, pulses, milk, vegetables, fruits, beverages and so on make up about half the consumer price index. As their price rises, the CPI number also go higher. And when inflation increases, you can expect the RBI to raise rates further. Then your loan payments can rise, piling more on the cost of living. Lower agriculture production also result in slower GDP growth as agriculture makes up 18% of our GDP. Rural incomes may also moderate in turn, reducing demand for everything from two-wheelers to shampoo. The impact of El Nino on the Indian economy can also extend to other sectors such as manufacturing. For example, if power shortages occur, factories may need to reduce production, which can lead to lower economic growth and job losses. Overall, El Nino hits the Indian economy from all the directions. Hope you found this video useful and for more such content, keep watching Money Control.